just got a camel here in the back of a truck in front of a mosque. Just another day, you know, man. <laughs> Welcome back adventurers, the Oman juggernaut rolls on as we delve into part six of our road trip through this magical country. This time we are off to the Wahiba Sands, stretching 180 kilometers north to south and covering an area of 12 and a half thousand square kilometers. The Wahiba or Shakia Sands is second only to the empty quarter in terms of iconic desert sand dune scenery in Oman. Think of this video as an idiot's guide to visiting the Wahiba Sands because if we could do it, you can do it too. We had absolutely no experience of driving on sand, no real uh, way of knowing how to get into the Wahiba Sands and we had every chance of getting stuck. So if you're planning your own Oman road trip then pay particular attention because I'll be sharing our exact route. So smash up the like button, make sure you subscribe let's get going right we are leaving the civilization of Lulu hypermarket we are about to head out into the absolute opposite into a sand sea um, the Wahiba sands and we're not feeling massively confident after getting stuck <laughs> in some mud a short time ago. But as you can see, we are properly, yeah, we are properly quite, stuck. Quite badly stuck. I did say this is the idiot's guide to the Weaver Sands because en route to the Weaver Sands, we'd actually gotten completely stuck in some mud. It didn't exactly fill us with off-road driving confidence. So yeah, we're heading to the Wahiba Sands. The sensible thing would be to join a tour or hire a, an experienced sa desert sand driver to do this for you, but in the spirit of adventure, <laughs> independent travel, we're gonna give it a go by ourselves. Okay, here's how we found our way into the Wahiba Sands. From the coast of Ras Al Ruais, we made our way to Jalan Bani Buali. From here, we continued to the small town of Falajal Mashaik. And from here we found a road heading northwest until we met a very definite T-junction. Here we turned left and continued until we found a place to make our desert camp. I'll post the coordinates of the T-junction and our desert camp in the description. So our next task is to find um, a petrol station where we can fill up our fuel but also deflate our tyres. Um, suitable for driving on sand. Deflating the tyres. They were on 39 PSI, we're taking them all the way down to 18 and hopefully we're going to make it to the sand before they peel off the rim. <laughs> has to be said, we don't have a clue what we're doing when it, when it comes to this. <laughs> we have our dangerously deflated tyres, <laughs> warning lights on on the car. Um, but, but that is quite literally how we roll. <laughs> oh, it's warning lights. Ah. <laughs> We've got 15 kilometres now until we get to the start of the Wiki the Sand. Certainly getting sandier, but not quite the Lawrence of Arabia scenes <laughs> just yet. Got a camel here in the back of a truck in front of a mosque. Just another day, you know, man. <laughs> So we had left civilization behind and we were heading into the dunes. Here comes that important T junction. Right, so this is the part of the road I'm really not looking forward to. What lies ahead is basically a toboggan run big enough for a one vehicle. Absolutely full of sand, so. Oh god, it doesn't even look like a road. God! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Crazy. 
amazing. Oh. great fun but challenging driving conditions we were relieved when the road improved again given our lack of experience the fact that we were traveling alone not to mention our recent experience of getting stuck we were playing it safe and weren't going to go too deep into the sands however if you're looking for more of a challenge this road here branching off to the right that leads you deeper into the sand so I'll put the coordinates for that in the description as well good luck if you go that way but if like us you want to play it safe just follow this road which eventually dead ends and that's where we made our camp We finally made it. We're out here in the sand sea, the Wahiba sands. There's my desert princess. <laughs> what do you think of this place then, Em? I think we've got a room with a view this evening, haven't we? It's brilliant. Look at that. Yeah, what a place to watch the sun go down. Yeah. And we've got our little Absolutely camp spot. Absolutely incredible, yeah. Going to have some dinner. But before that, I think I'm going to be on a, on a photo marathon. So, uh, without further ado. Although we haven't ventured that far into the Wahiba Sands, we have gone far enough to leave behind all traces of civilization. It was just us and the sand dunes, stretching west towards the setting sun. moment I launched my drone to capture the breathtaking sandy panoramas. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the scene transformed into a spectacle of incredible beauty, featuring a stunning sky and the mesmerizing textures of the dunes. Just found this cool little beetle. Seen a few of them about actually. Climbing up this perilous slope. Sending the drones soaring high, the true vastness of this landscape became strikingly apparent. Look at that sky, 
that is not a sky you would associate with one of the driest most arid places on earth no <laughs> and i'm wearing a cardigan i know <laughs> so we're in the wahiba sands and um yeah when you come to somewhere such as this like a big sand desert you know you just assume it's going to be clear skies um lovely sun but the weather's let us down a little bit um it was really really windy yesterday evening there's fine sand in absolutely everything yep and that'll probably be there forever yep <laughs> but there you go we still we still done it and we, we we got here and now it's coffee time yeah and then we have to try and get out uh, yeah there was a hill downhill on the way in that's looking a little bit yeah there's one part really on the way out really so not looking forward to that so um get, get up that hill i think okay coffee then um then we go so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our escapade into the Wahiba Sands. It was just a brief stop as we still had so much to do and so much to see in Oman. So join us next time as we head down the coast and narrowly avoid the peril of losing our jeep in the sea as we seek out the coastal equivalent of the Wahiba Sands, that is the Sugar Dunes. See you then.